Straw Hut Media. Are you recording? Are you recording? Aww, that was so cute, Matcha. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan Jones and welcome back to the Jordan Jones podcast. In today's episode, I asked you guys on Instagram basically just to ask me questions. So it'll be a little random, a little bit of everything today. So if you want to hear about a little bit of everything about my life, then just keep watching. All right, let's just get right into it. The first one is any plans for this summer? I feel like it's so crazy. I'm getting so old where I've already like traveled and lived my life, I feel like. But um, I don't really have any plans. I remember a couple summers ago, I'd be like, I'm in Hawaii for this many days and then I'm in Thailand and then I'm in France and blah, blah, blah. And I have a cat and I want to stay home. I don't really have anything planned yet other than going to Michigan at least twice probably. Fourth of July like I don't really have any plans. I'll probably do what I did last year which is just hang out with my boyfriend and his family and cook out or whatever. We might have an exciting trip to a state that is on my bucket list for sure so I hope it happens. Other than that my friend Lily will pop in sometime at the end of this month and stay with me for a couple days and to me that's so fun i get to do kind of all the things that i want to do that no one else wants to do with me like go to dodger games and stuff so like with her it's kind of like vacation for sure i do kind of want to take her to catalina island at least for a day i love that place no one talks about it no one goes especially like after covid but i've always loved going there it's kind of like not LA or not California, but it's still California. If you guys are living in LA and you've never been to Catalina Island, I definitely recommend going. The ferries is probably 30 or $50 max round trip. And you can go for a day. You just like rent a golf cart and you drive around this like pretty island. There's not so much to do max like three day trip, but you can also just make it all in one day. And that's what I like to do. So maybe that. And then another thing that I want to do, I do have a summer bucket list on my phone. I guess I could like read that off to you guys. It's some things I've done before that I just kind of like doing. I know one of them's like K1. I love going to go-karting places. It's so thrilling to me. <laughs> but let's get this. Where's my list? It's in shared notes. Summer bucket list. Okay. Dodger games, like I said. Indoor, outdoor movie theater. My boyfriend and I have done basically all of these things already in the first summer that we met. Beach bonfire, beach days, bikes on the beach. I just did this in January. So fun. You can rent a bike at Perry's Cafe in Venice, Santa Monica, Marina del Rey even maybe, but you rent it in like Santa Monica and you bike all the way to Venice and you get lunch. You can shop around Venice. It's just like so fun to do any day. Uh, We did a San Francisco trip last year, not summer, spring break though. Um, I do want to go to Hawaii. I do want to go to New York. And I also maybe want to go to Florida to visit my other friend. I want to do some more stuff I've already done, which is kind of weird. I don't really want to go try new things right now or like go to new places. I like miss New York and my friends there. Like I miss Hawaii and the things I've already had there. I want to go to Florida to see my friend and that is new. If that makes any sense where you kind of have already been somewhere and you miss it. I kind of am in that stage of my life right now. Um, Car shows, of course, is something I look forward to pretty much every week. But now it's kind of not even car shows. It's kind of just car stuff with friends. And we kind of make our own drives or groups and lunches. And that's kind of more so what I do now. Catalina is on this list. Disney or Six Flags. I'll probably be going to Disney with my niece and nephew this summer. That's always so fun. Six Flags, I forget about. It's so close. I'm pretty sure I still pay for a membership for two years now and it's like $12 a month. It's like something crazy like that. Um, Malibu Cafe is a pretty place inside the mountains and there's giant games to play. There's lunch, there's a lake. It's also at a hotel that's really nice. We did this two years ago. I believe it was like the day he asked me to be his girlfriend or the day after, but that was super, super cute. 
Underwood Farms. This is in Moor Park. It's just a place to go and pick berries and feed goats and stuff. It's just like things that don't feel like LA is so fun. And then Butterfly Garden. We also did this. They have like a pop-up or they had a pop-up. It was the Butterfly Pavilion and it was so sweet and I love butterflies, hence my tattoo on my hand. Yeah, those are some ideas and fun things that are on my bucket list and that you guys should add to your bucket list for the summer. Next one, favorite solo artist right now. Guys, I'm just obsessed with Olivia Rodrigo. Some people would be like, oh my God, grow up. You're 24. It's like a girlhood thing. Getting ready and like listening to her songs. It's just something that a guy would never understand blasting those songs whether you relate to it or not it's just such a vibe but she's definitely my favorite solo artist favorite artist right now i love watching her tour videos it's literally a dream of mine to go to her tour in august i love her songs and i think that she is so cute and all the outfits on tour you know i'm a pisces too so like we just like get each other <laughs> next one what do you think 16 year old you would love most about who you are today? I would say I've kind of come back recently to who I was when I was 16. I still am like a kid at heart. I love going home and being in Michigan. And I feel like having that in my life has kind of kept me normal and not LA. Living out here, it's so easy to get into a wrong friend group and doing drugs or drinking and being super unhealthy. Or you can go like the other route of injections and fillers and surgeries. And then there's also the hippies. And there's just so many different things that you can kind of morph into with friend groups and being in LA. I feel like I haven't changed much with kind of what I believe in or what I like to do. And I don't really let people persuade me into certain things, which again, I would say that is more recently this year and like the last two years. I definitely went through like a I don't give an F phase or selfish. Obviously, I had a grieving stage. I've kind of had different stages, but where I am right now, my 16 year old self would be proud to know that I haven't changed. LA hasn't changed me, I guess. Maybe it has in the past, but I've gotten myself back together. Remembered who I am and what my morals are and what you know is important to me and who to keep close to me and what to do, what not to do. I feel more grounded today than I ever have. And I think that that is super important. Again, living in LA, I live literally in West Hollywood, California. It's crazy, it's crazy out here. All right, this question is, how are you doing mentally, physically, and emotionally? Mentally, I feel like I am always pretty good. I'm always pretty solid. I have my moments, but I would say my lows are still pretty high in the broad scheme of things, I guess. Physically, pretty good. Everything is feeling good, except a minor hurt ligament maybe on the top of my foot from playing pickleball too much in the wrong shoes but literally other than that i feel amazing i still am active and taking care of myself emotionally this definitely goes up and down but right now i'm super good i am super happy lately and i feel like everything happens for a reason and I've just continuously been getting lucky with certain things. I swear I've been having lucky girl syndrome and I say my affirmations and I spread positivity and love and I, you know, want to get that back in return. So that is just kind of how I've been living in my recent mottos, but everything has been very good. Dream place to live. Um, one thing I have been thinking about is that I want to buy a lake house in Michigan because I love Michigan. I think it's a great place to be, even if it's just for the summer or just another house to have. I don't think it would be my permanent one. If I had one house, it would not be Michigan. It would probably be California. But yeah, I, I want to be at least Michigan and LA. I mean, technically I am because I have my house in Michigan, but I just mean a lake house, a lake house in California. Those would probably be like my dream places. In LA though, probably Malibu or just somewhere not in Hollywood Hills, Bel Air. That's not like my dream. That's probably like in the near future, but not like dream house. So yeah, those are my dream places. But hopefully one day, lake house in Michigan. Even if I just buy land and build, 
that would be super cool too. A lot of people have been asking me if there is going to be new music out. I still get a lot of streams from certain songs on Spotify because I get emailed every month about my um, stats. And it is crazy to know that I haven't released anything, I don't think since 2018, maybe 2019. People are still listening. They're still asking me this. And so I'm just like, should I? I thought that that era was done. But the more and more I think about it, also literally like Olivia Rodrigo has been just inspiring me about music and writing again. I don't know if I will ever get back into it because there's honestly more cons to it than pros, but I love it and I loved being in the studio. So let me know what you guys think if you guys really want me to do this. Maybe one day I'll put out like one more song or something. Are you going to be a non-alcoholic drinker for the rest of your life? That's pretty awesome. I can say right now, yes. I have never had the urge to drink or try anything, but I really can't say never because what if in 10 years from now, I have like a sip of champagne at a wedding or something? Since I've gone this long, I really am not interested in what it tastes like, but I can't say that I'll never be like, oh, well, what does beer taste like? What does wine taste like? Because I've never had anything. The only thing I've had, which was an accidental sip of Jack Daniels and Diet Coke in my mouth, and I realized that it wasn't what I thought it was, and I spit it out immediately, the whole thing. And I took a big sip. I thought it was iced tea, and it was not iced tea. So I've really never had anything. I don't think I will ever be curious. I know for a fact I will never be drunk. I will never have a whole drink, but you kind of never know what the future holds. It's just too much for me. And when you go this long without it, you don't need it. A lot of people are like, how do you go to a party without drinking? Because I've never been to a party while drinking. So it's no different. It's not like, oh, I need it to, I need it to socialize. I need alcohol to hook up with someone like what? All these people who ask me these questions, I'm like, what are you even saying right now? I've just gone so long without it. I don't need it. I wonder the things I would do. I, I would be paranoid. My neighbor was literally telling me this morning that when she was 16 years old, she got drunk with a fake ID and she got a tattoo that she hates. And her best friend, who was also 16, that was drunk, got her nipple pierced. These things just don't sound fun to me. I don't need it and I don't want it and I hopefully we'll never do that. So no. <laughs> All right. Last question. Sorry, this is a little bit of a short episode though. What was your favorite part about coming home to Michigan? I always love coming home and really lately it's been the weather. There is just something about like the long sun. The sun is out for so much longer and it gets so long in the summer. It's like 10 p.m. and it's just now like sunset. I love that. I love there's just like literally something in the air there that it's also just so fresh. It's such a breath of fresh air when I leave LA and I go there. Something so different. But also like my mom's like home cooked meals lately. It's crazy because she could not cook a thing three four years ago and now i'm like i want my mom's cooking she makes such good food and then obviously seeing my little brother and going on the four-wheeler and she has a raptor truck and i love driving that around i have my little routine there and seeing my grandma i seriously need to get back out there to see my sister and her two kids and my cousin who i've been playing xbox with every day i need to get out there and see his baby and his wife and i definitely don't take it for granted at all i love being home i love home i really want my family to come out here more often but it is hard because they have so many cats and dogs they do want me to get matcha out there but i just am so scared because like i don't want her to get out and if she does get out there i literally don't think she would ever come back it's so sad but like i just cannot risk it so yeah i don't know if she'll ever make it out to michigan or at least in any near future <laughs> All 
All right, guys. Thanks so much to everyone who asked me the questions on Instagram. We do have a podcast Instagram, Jordan Jones Podcast, and TikTok, Jordan Jones Podcast. So you guys can always stay up to date on all of these different platforms and see the different clips and everything like that. And before you leave, make sure to subscribe and go follow us and like us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday with a new episode. Bye. You've been listening to the Jordan Jones Podcast. Jordan's passion is to inspire, relate, and give you that much needed one hour escape from life's everyday struggles. Your family, and we're so glad you're here. Make sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, find us on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram at Jordan Jones. J O R D Y N. This production is brought to you by Straw Hut Media, hosted by Jordan Jones, produced by Ryan Tillotson, edited by Daniel Ferreira, additional production help by Carolyn Mendoza, Ali Ahmed, and Samir Gonchi. Keep shining bright like the diamond you are, and see you next time on the Jordan Jones Podcast.